Hello guys, today we're going to be doing this vectors question from paper 2 of the sample assessment material. Now let's look at it. O, A, and B are fixed points such that O, A is 4i plus 3j, O, B is 8i plus pj, and A, B is 2 root 13. So first we need to find the possible values of p, so that's the, the verticality, verticalness change in y, whatever you want to call it. That's the j value of this vector. And then, since p would be the positive, p, given that p is positive, this tells me that there is going to be a positive and a negative value, and this is just telling us which value to use. We need to find a unit pa vector parallel to ab. Now, a unit vector is a vector with magnitude 1. So to find it, we just, fi we just divide the real vector AB by this number, the magnitude. So such that the magnitude would be 1. Alright, so let's get started. Let's find the possible values of P. We need to... I th my, my current thinking is that if we can find the value of AB, even if it's in terms of P, we can find the value of p from the fact that the magnitude of a vector is the square root of the sum of the squares of its i value and its j value. That's that is to say, like, if a vector is xi plus yj, its, its magnitude would just be the root, the root of x squared plus y squared. Now, let's zoom in a little bit because I'm finding it hard to write. Um, so first let's figure out AB. So if we draw a little diagram here where this is A and this is B, you see that if we want to get from A to B, we have to, we have to first go from A to O, so that's minus OA and then from O to B, so that's plus OB. Or this is just OB minus OA. So AB is equal to OB minus OA. So that is equal to 8I plus PJ minus 4i minus 3j. Then we combine like terms and factorize the i and j out. You'll get that ob minus oa is 4i plus p minus 3j. Now we really should be drawing arrows on these since they're vector values. It's easier to follow the working that way. Um, So, how do we get from here to the magnitude of AB? Well, Pythagorean theorem. If it's 4 this way, and P minus 3 this way, then surely this length here, the magnitude, would be root of 4 squared plus P minus 3 squared. Now, since we know that the magnitude of AB is 2 root 13, let's just put this 2 back into the square root symbol, so it would be really root 52, which is equal to root 4 squared plus P minus 3 squared. And then we can take the square of both sides to find that 52 is equal to 4 squared plus p minus 3 squared. Now 4 squared is 16, and you subtract 16 from both sides to get 36 is equal to p minus 3 squared. Now if we if we want to take the square root of both sides again, we'll find that p minus 3 squared, or rather, I mean p minus 3, is equal to plus or minus 6. 
So when p minus 3 is equal to positive 6, add 3 to both sides, p is 9. That's one solution. And when p minus 3 is minus 6, add 3 to both sides, you get p is equal to minus 3. So those are our two possible values of p. And that's the answer to part a. Now, given that p is greater than 0, so p is really 9, that's what it's telling us. Find a unit vector parallel to AB. So P is 9, and so AB is, if you remember that AB is 4i plus P minus 3j, so since P is 9, P minus 3 would be 6, so it's 4i plus 6j. Then we divide both sides by 2 root 13. That's the magnitude of our original vector. So AB divided by 2 root 13 is equal to 4 over 2 root 13 I plus 6 over 2 root 13 J. Now, this is where you need to use your skills from the chapter about surge to simplify this into its rational form. So you get that 4 over 2, just cancel out these, and this is 2, 2 over root 13j, I mean i, i, this is i, my bad, plus 3 over root 13j is the unit vector, and to rationalize this fully, we don't want to surge on the denominator, so we'll multiply both by root 13 here to get to root 13 over 13 i. And we multiply both by root 13 here to get 3 root 13 over 13 j. So what we're doing here is just taking this irrational form with the square root on the bottom and we're turning it into a rational one with square roots only on the top. And this is our answer, this is our final answer, this is the unit vector. So to recap, we look at these, we take OB minus OA to find the value of AB, and since the magnitude of AB is related to the I value and the J value, we use that to create this equation here that 2 root 13 is the root of 4 squared plus p minus 3 squared. Root 52 is 4 squared plus p minus 3 squared. And we solve this to get the two values of p. Because remember, when you square root, it can be a positive or a negative. We found that p is 9 or p is minus 3. We looked at the question and read that p is greater than 0. Because you must really pay attention when it says, given that something is greater than something. Because what it's doing normally is eliminating other possible answers that you might have used in the next part of the question. And we know that P must be equal to 9 in the next question. And since it's equal to 9, and we worked out before that AB was 4i plus P minus 3J, P would be 9, P, 9 minus 3 would be 6. We find AB is this, 4i plus 6J. And then we divide both sides by, the, by its own magnitude to get a magnitude of 1 for a unit vector. So it would be 2 root 13 over 13i and 3 root 13 over 13j. Now, if you want to, you can get a calculator and do the calculation yourself to prove that this is a unit vector. The way you do this is that the square of this plus the square of this would be equal to 1. All right, so now let's scroll down to the mark scene and see if we got it correct. Is this it? Nope, this is question 10. Alright, so AB is 4i plus 3p minus 3j. Let's check we got that. Root 52 is 4 squared plus p minus 3 squared. Oh, you didn't actually have to do this, to be honest, because you could just square both sides. That's how we did it properly. So they've used a rather complicated method of doing this, whereas we could do that easier. So that's a double check for being cool kids like we are. And we've, we've looked at the inequality, we noticed this, that's a yeet, 
And finally, we found the unit vector here. This is just a fancy way, like OE means OR equivalent, and our answer is basically this value, so it should be fine. Yep. This is the answer we got. And now that is correct, that's five marks. Thanks for watching.